We know 608,000 people got first-time unemployment benefits last week, and we know a lot of those people are, are veterans in their careers who are now... Unemployment in Illinois now at a 25-year high. The state has lost more than 290,000 jobs since the recession began. Now there's a free service that helps people find jobs or improve their position in the workforce. Our Amy Lester explains how it works and how you can take advantage of it. Well, Amy, this is the only program like it in the country. It opens doors to new opportunities. On a hot afternoon, this class is getting down and dirty. We're working hard trying to learn. Today's lesson is concrete. Um, floating the uh, cracks out of it. Kenneth Johnson's out of work. He's taking advantage of the free training. I've had a few jobs and they weren't they weren't anything where you, your family could could really live off of. We decided that we would use the training as the hook for recruitment. It was a simple concept that uh, is the, all the parts were already put together by Liuna. Uh, the recruiting techniques have not changed, the training hasn't changed, and the marketing to the employer hasn't changed. We just put them all together. <laughs> I believe that the RTE program is going to change the face of the labor movement in the South. This is a way to successfully market uh, who we are and, and prove to contractors that we're the ones that can, can go out and recruit quality workers. We're the ones who can uh, train them properly. We, we already know that. Uh, this is our ability that ties all the pieces together. RTE means that there will be a supply of workers who have proven to the, the union that they can show up every day for three weeks, that they are willing and able to pass a drug screen, uh, and that they can uh, graduate uh, and, and be certified by the Labor's AGC in OSHA 10, 80-hour general construction, and 40-hour basic concrete. Finding good quality employees is, is always difficult. And uh, that's one reason that we've always chosen to be union. We expect the unions to do the screening, to find the, the employees, and then that they can bring us trained employees. And it's certainly drug-free is an important thing. Our ability to recruit uh, workers from a specific area, areas where we uh, have low market share, low density, uh, very little of that work, um, but there's a workforce there uh, in many cases. We're just not there. RTE allows us to go in, successfully recruit, and find the best of the best. Um, and, and we do that through our training program. Dakota Gross is a night manager at a fast food restaurant striving for a better job. I think it's fun, it's hard, it's tough work, but it's good, it's a good learning experience. The Laborers Union provides 10-hour free classes for three weeks. You must show up on time and complete them. Then the union finds you work. The Southwest Laborers District Council has a very large jurisdiction. Uh, training in the past has been a, a, a very difficult thing to accomplish because uh, local unions are scattered very far apart. Some of the demographics in Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas are extremely challenging. So we have uh, mobile units. One-ton pickups with NASCAR-looking trailers, if you will, very high-profile, sharp-looking mobile units. So we can actually take a mobile unit uh, uh, and, and pretty much go anywhere we need to go. Uh, RTE, uh, its success is the ability to do just that. Mobile training, you can go on site, uh, anywhere the contractor needs it, we can pull right on site. We've had two opportunities to work with them, once on uh, the BOK Arena in downtown Tulsa. They brought the unit in from uh, Louisiana, set it up on site. We ran about 15 people through a week-long program. You know, we'll take in new guys and, and recruit those and put them, uh, give them the training, put them to work. 
Uh, if the contractor wants some of his current employees to attend some of those classes, we'll drop them in there too. Everyone that attended that uh, program was extremely impressed with the quality of the material and it got the people excited about the opportunities that they see in the industry. The mobile unit can stay in place uh, for, for drug screening, for uh, initial higher end paperwork for that contractor, uh, sometimes site specific training. Uh, we'll stay as long as the employer needs us to and then we move on to the next project. Applicants are required to show up on time every day, work a 10 hour day without getting paid for it. We look at RTE as a construction boot camp. During this time, they learn several different skills, uh, tool identification, safety, uh, basic concrete techniques, finishing, floating, come along. Uh, and they learn some responsibility about showing up on time and uh, accounting for their own actions. It's not a free for all. You have to be able to show up every day on time and be there all day for the classes. After uh, three weeks of training, if they've showed up every day on time, if they've showed initiative, if uh, you know they've, they've learned what they need to learn, uh, we feel comfortable sending them to a contractor that uh, they're going to be a person that's going to show up and be willing to, to learn even further. Uh, you have to graduate uh, hands-on and classroom time uh, for, for all of the courses. You have to be willing to pass a drug test, um, work safe, follow instructions, be a good employee. Uh, once you do that, you're well on your way. I'm proud to say that 74% of the, of the uh, graduates from the RTE program were employed within 30 days with signatory contractors. We've got a real good group. We've got a couple of uh, exceptionally strong people. No one here has any prior construction experience and all, after only uh, two and a half days in the class we've already poured a, a 5 by 40 sidewalk. You know, that's no easy feat for anybody. You know, it's, it's, it's hard work, it's hot, and uh, they did an excellent job today. Well, this is more of a learning slab. Uh, we will be busting this out. You may have noticed that there wasn't any wire mesh or rebar. Uh, well, naturally, we'd never do that. We would always uh, put uh, reinforcement steel in the slab. This one doesn't have any because uh, at the end of this class, we will have a jackhammer session, and they'll learn, learn what it is to uh, play with a 90-pound. I've learned how to really work the concrete and do the forms and, and get get to know people better and work with a lot of different people. Well, the RT program, we feel like, is, is pretty basic to the industry in, in bringing in good quality people and getting them trained ahead of time. If you can show up for a drug test uh, and, and pass that drug test, show up every day on time for three weeks, work safely, follow instructions, and graduate the RTE program, you're going to be marketed to signatory contractors who pay a living wage, health insurance, a pension, have a safe work site so you can go home to your family. Um, that's what it means. That's what it's all about. Everybody has an opportunity to make a career in the laborers union and this is the avenue to it. If they're willing to do this for three weeks, put up with this kind of work in this kind of heat for three weeks without being paid, certainly they're going to show up on a job that they're getting paid for. And, uh, hopefully make a good hand. Uh, I believe the skills that I acquired there in the, in the class uh, helped me a whole lot to get this job that I'm on now. If it, without going through that class, I wouldn't have been working today. I would not have a job. But because I went to that class and got some basic experience of what I'm doing now, yes, it paid off. Uh, I mean, you know, I was there uh, for at least three to four weeks, and out of the three to four weeks, I, I learned quite a bit out of it, you know, how to shoot great and so forth and so on. And in the last couple of months after the class, I was able to come out here at White Construction and be able to get a job and maintain that job. You got you to make sacrifices you, if, you, if you want it. If you want something better out of life, you're going to have to go out and get it. And nothing's easy. I mean, you just apply yourself. If they're willing to give up three weeks of their own time, that's the person I want on the job. If they're willing to give up that time from their families and everything, uh, those are the type of people that you know are going to give effort on the job site, going to work more productively and uh, make us money. Nice to be outside working, to be quite honest with you. On this day, a familiar face joins in, Representative Richard Morissette supporting the very trade that got him through college. You know, it was a wonderful beginning to a career, 
that started with hard work with my hands and uh, working every day in blue collar jobs. My district in South Oklahoma City, that's, that's who we are. And I think that's what this state still is. A new beginning everyone here is reaching for one class at a time. Well, it helps the community as a whole. First of all, it employs uh, people from the local community that have sustainable jobs in the construction industries where they're providing a product so that when, they, when, when, when a contractor builds a building or whatever contract they've got, you've got quality workmanship so that the product is first class, you have employees that are first class, you're paying wages that are first class so they can provide for their, for their families and loved ones. So again, the whole purpose is to provide a win-win for the employee and for the contractors and for the community. It's important that the laborers make friends with uh, local politicians all the way up to the federal level so that we can work together because when we're friends with them and they're friends with us, we can make a positive difference in the community and the lives of people. And by doing community service in their areas, we put a positive face on the labor movement and make sure that the general public understands that these are good people. They're just wanting a good job, they're wanting benefits, and they're wanting to support their families. The community as a whole benefits from the RTE program. We're currently reaching out to public officials so that our on-the-job training with these individuals can benefit the community by maybe fixing a sidewalk at a public park or a school, uh, helping out an old folks home that needs it in a small town. Uh, those are the kind of projects that we can do at no additional cost to us uh, and we can partner with our signatory contractors uh, when we do this work, whether it's for the engineering portion of it or to pick up uh, uh, materials cost in the in the course uh, and we're excited about that. I'm dependable, I'm hardworking, I'm definitely a fast learner. Um, I'm worth hiring. Everybody's work is looked at. You know when you say that your job is complete everybody looks at your work and that's how you're judged. And I feel like now the people that I send out is what I'm judged by so you know when they leave here, they're going to they're gonna represent. To have a career, to have the finances, to be able to sort, support their family, and the benefits to go along with it. I would definitely uh, recommend this program to any other areas that have low density, uh, other local unions. Uh, this is the best thing since sliced bread as far as I'm concerned. A lot of our competition will pay nothing but cash. That These guys will either just receive a straight check or a lot of times they're paid under the table as cash. It's very difficult to compete against these people. Where we're able to do it is by providing the quality work and doing a better job, being dependable, being safe on the job sites, providing a drug-free environment. They're all important to the industries that we work for. What it really comes down to with, with the RTE program is Lyuna's ability to meet today's contractors' demands. Their, uh, uh, their workforce has to be better than it used to be. Uh, recruitment is harder and, and we're there. We come up with a drug-free workforce, uh, highly trained in the construction industry, uh, and, and we pick up the, the small pieces. These people have been tried and tested. They've made it through three weeks of intensive training, long hour days, uh, starting at 7 o'clock in the morning, putting in 10 hour days as they go. Uh, in the end, we're coming up with a better product than what the non-union market is going to be able to find from traditional labor ready or, or uh, manpower supplies. Um, this is the wave of the future.